Um, where are you? We gotta start. Come here. Let's start on the roof. You wanna start on the roof? Get on that roof. <laughs> you want me to get on this roof? Alright. Take off your armor first. <laughs> Alright. Uh, how do we start? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, intro, intro. There we go. <laughs> Next no. <our> intro. <laughs> okay, no. Alright. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Christ. Hello, you can't everybody. Even do an intro. Hello, everybody. My name is Mark Wire. I like milk. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Alright. Hi. <laughs> it's funny because no. we're just going to embarrass ourselves later. We're probably going to include all this anyway because it'd be funny in retrospect. It will be funny in retrospect. I mean, in the next week, it'll be awful and embarrassing to listen to but in a month be like haha ha, in a idiots. month this will, will be like this is the funniest shit i've ever heard so i guess this marks no intro no our intro is we throw rotten meat down the fire that's not even funny that's just quirky equals do it. Ra random equals funny do it do it throw it down the fire holy oh, i can't i was gonna push you but i can't damage you you can't damage well you are like laggy that's fine where'd it go you still have it in your hand no, oh I, I don't <laughs> you crashed my ping i have three bars <laughs> you left the game oh i think like blur you yeah you're gonna have to blur oh, Actually, but... no that'll be that'll be your perspective i I'll forgot just... <laughs> my... we'll cut all of this out be back <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it's a black screen. I'm falling into a void. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna have to do some technical difficulty cuts, but I'm gonna show this part cuts funny. Oh, oh your back. head. Oh, there you are. Okay. Your head was on not the right way. It was. All backwards. right, we're back. We're <laughs> we're back. Either right. it was his perspective the whole time, or we just cut. We just we probably cut. But the intro's staying, even though it's intro's not intro. Staying, yeah. The really shitty intro thing. Anyway. I mean, to be fair, this is mostly supposed to be just talking. Yeah. Welcome to this is our... Supposed... Welcome supposed to our, to. like... Oh my god. I feel like it's gonna be like a kind of a time capsule hobby for us. Okay. What? Welcome to the, uh... Oh, sorry. Kind of... Yeah, I was trying to, like, it... welcome people. Now, now you're trying to do an intro? Yeah. Oh my lord. Welcome to the... Our kind of like short form podcast type idea. We've got our own kind of like Minecraft servers got up. Uh, we're just going to use this to kind of talk over. Just kind of get ideas out there. Well, I feel like and it's kind just, of like a time capsule and also a hobby for us. We're bored. And I feel like it's good just to like have just to get stuff out. stuff happens. Um, if you want the seed... <laughs> It's no. <laughs> no, 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 let's, let's keep it a secret for like a okay. few episodes. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep. Actually, no, we're gonna keep this seed a secret. We're not but gonna be playing Minecraft a... every episode, though. Which makes it not even better, because it's gonna take like, forever for the seed to go out. This is a really good seed, actually. We spawned right next to a Taiga village that had not only an armor, like you saw over there, but it also, over here, there's a farm. A really good farm, and With two. Two weaponsmiths with what is an unbreaking three iron sword with one of the first. Can these grow on? Oh, they can. An unbreaking three iron sword with one of the first trades. Hey, we aren't gonna be only playing Minecraft. We're gonna be playing easy games to talk and play. Just like mindless games to talk over. Come here. Let me give you some bread. No way. Obviously, Minecraft has some intense moments, and we're probably gonna there like. Are... We might have to do like special let's plays for that. That'd be kind of funny. Patreon I mean, content? No, we're not gonna do a Patreon. I mean, if it becomes a career and we start getting actual followers somehow, then if that'll be don't cool. Don't say career. Let's say if this becomes big, we'll do a Patreon. How's that? No, I'm just saying like it would be cool if we did get viewers and could make money from it. 
it would be pretty cool. Um, but this is more just like could be a hobby type thing. Yeah. First just of all, let's address the elephant in the room. It's been probably four years since our last episode. I was honestly gonna not bring it up and just unlist them all. <laughs> That'd be funny. There's a cat! There's a calico over here! Right, they spawn in villages and you have to tame them. It's awesome. Anyways, yeah, it's been... It's been a while. I'm surprised there's no iron golem. There's one... Oh, there it is. Never mind. Yeah, it's kind of stuck in trees. It's been a while. Um, that's partly my fault. It's... Mostly my fault. Because I just never felt... I just never wanted to do it. And now it's surprising you're like, haha, what if we did it again? I'd, well, because My before Markiplier. it was like, <laughs> because before it was, uh, I, I just did not have the we strength wanted... or energy to record for like an hour. And we already had the prospects of trying to make it a career. Yeah, that was before. And now, having any content. Now this, this isn't going to be like a career. This is just going to be a hobby. I think that's what a lot of people forget when they want to do YouTube. It starts remember... out as a hobby and then it turns into a career. You never start out as a career. Yeah, I mean, it can start as a career if you're, like, rich or if you know a guy. But yeah. you shouldn't go into it thinking you are going to be famous. Don't drop everything you're doing. Don't drop out of college. Don't quit your job just because you got, like, 100 or 1,000 subscribers. Yeah, it's not the smartest idea. Always like, just keep it in like the back of your mind. If you can for, keep like, YouTube as a fun side hustle, though, not even as a like, career, then like I feel like that's a good outcome still. Oh, for sure. And even like popular Minecraft streamers or Minecraft YouTubers are kind of like I don't know if I really want it. And no, they all. <laughs> I don't really. I don't know if I really have the strength that. They all secretly hate Minecraft, except for they, like. They hate this new update. Not this the old new update. update. Like, the not many people are survival only. But That's I feel like in general, Minecraft YouTubers are just sick of the game. I mean, some somehow aren't. Oh, what? Obviously. There's a... Oh, no, that's the website. I'm just stupid. <laughs> some somehow aren't, obviously, but, like, I've noticed a few that started with Minecraft quit to do other content, and they've been doing fine. It's mostly because of kind of just, like, YouTube as well. To that, uh -huh. it, it, this it's obviously it's obviously not like our place to talk about this at all because we literally just. I mean, as viewers, I think it's fine because YouTubers always talk about it. I guess so, but YouTube, uh, not only their algorithm but how they react to certain things is just it can be seen as like childish, immature, and not very not smart I just think for a it's... company. I don't think it's that. I just think it's uh no. It's things like this is great because ad advertisers hate like not child friendly stuff, which is why you can't swear in the first like five minutes of a video that risk of it getting demonetized. Yeah, but it's more the fact that it's like repetitious content. It's a little. But annoying. if you can tap into like uh the kids side and just repeat the same content oh, over and over, God, it sucks. The kids side. And you can make infinite money. <laughs> <laughs> Literal IRL infinite money glitch. Like, you know those Sell videos of like... The, um... I don't know where to start building. I have no idea. How about on like the dock that's like out in the middle of nothing? Was over here. Oh, the dock? It was on the, uh... It was near the ice spikes to the right side. Oh, there's another one of sugarcane on the other side. But, um. Yeah, you know the videos where it's just like a. Never change. Like a random 3D model doing a dance with a children's song behind it? That are. They like color them specific colors. It's, it's baby century videos. It's just. Even then, it, some of the models and like dances are kind of suggestive and very bad for children to consume. <laughs> Not lighthouse. if they're young and they don't remember anything. Lighthouse? Nah. I mean, this could this could be a good lighthouse area. This little patch of island. Or it could be like a mini, a mini lighthouse. 
Yeah. But, like, every... What's it called? I keep, like, forgetting how to speak. <laughs> I know, it's hard. But, um, yeah, like, every day, it's just the same video, but the animation is changed, or the models are changed. With the same songs. What the hell? Oh, you stole the book. Crafting table. Yes, I stole the crafting table. Oh, go to That... Why was that... Oh, that's why it's moving so fast. There's a skeleton over there that's being chased by a wolf. <laughs> oh, free wolf. I just watched... I just watched a murder in the streets. I'm gonna put the table here. I'm I gonna try and tame this wolf. I got one bone. Wish me luck. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay, it didn't work. I knew it. <laughs> oh my god, that I just got like a sudden flashback to it. I was watching YouTube like a old YouTube video of someone playing a flash game. It's back when annotations were a thing. Oh god, I wish they brought I wish they kept annotations. There's no reason for it not to. It did nothing but hurt like disabled viewers. Cause in order to achieve the same effect you have to edit it in the video. Not only that, but it or brought do it about through captions. Away. It brought about a wave of like choose your own adventure <laughs> videos, and that was yeah. Cool. I remember like um, the videos like where it's like a playable piano, where you click the annotation on the each key and you can <laughs> play it. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, yeah, I think it had something to do with like flash or some oh vulnerability in the system. But I don't know. It's just dumb. Are you, are you stuck, sir? Oh, we should free them before so zombies don't kill them. There's one down there, to too. I... Down where? Oh, the... Free that guy. There. Okay, were you saying back when annotations were still a thing? There was a guy um, playing a flash game I used to like. And then... It said... There was an annotation that popped up and said, In a few seconds, this guy's arm will get sliced off. And it happened. I was like, oh my god, how do you predict the future? <laughs> Being a stupid preteen on the internet. I love being stupid preteen. Does stuff. But it's all fun in games until your worldview gets permanently taped by the content you see. Yeah. Which is why it's kind of a I... controversial opinion, but like to a lot of people. But oh, this is just an island. I forgot that villages spawn floating. Yeah. Jesus. Sorry, there was a creeper. You're gonna have to turn there and that turn that down in post. Was that loud? Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know. Dude, I got scared. He just spawned there. Yeah, we know. We gotta like torch up this place. <laughs> yeah, we gotta dig down first so that we can actually get stone. Bro. The underwater zombie spawned on the bridge to the lighthouse. Are you still making that? I mean, yeah, it'd be fun. You can make a little fishing storage area. Hold on, I'm gonna make some charcoal really quick so I can make some torches. Anyway, um... What was he saying? Oh yeah. What were you saying? I'm gonna... Oh. Oh. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> it just lagged and uncrafted the doors I made. <laughs> I got him back. I'm gonna monitor my kids' internet access until they're at least like 15 and 14. Or at least put restrictions. Yeah, I probably, I probably will do the same. Restrictions, probably like... I think I will definitely do restrictions, but I might not monitor it. Because I want to advocate for like freedom and all. No, freedom, no, 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 no. Freedom can be good, but if you use it correctly. An 8-year-old doesn't need freedom. I'm probably... An 8-year-old does not need freedom. That's why my kid will probably not have like a phone. A good phone until... I don't know how hard it is to raise your kid without being like an iPad parent, because that's I don't I have to, I uh, I kind of want to do research on why so many like modern parents raise iPad kids. It's because they they can't handle like how much their kid is, so they give them an iPad because the iPad like it distracts them and it makes it easier for the kid to handle. How, yes, but it however, also gives them an addiction to the iPad. Bad attention so whenever spans, you take it, iPad addiction. Whenever you take it away, they start screaming. And makes them way too computer and tech literate at a young age. Well, I it think... can also... Uh, what's the word? Um, 
expose them to bad things. Yes, it can expose them to really bad things on the internet at a young age. Like what happened to best. us because we had unmonitored internet access at a young age. Yes. <laughs> oh no, a villager's getting chased. Oh no, it's just an iron golem killing everything. Yeah. Oh, that iron golem's almost dead. That's not a good thing. Oh god, the creeper. Oh! Okay, let's just let's just run. <laughs> get, get the hell out of here, bro. Okay, okay, we can. You can just camp on the house roofs until. Why don't we gone. just sleep? There's two beds in here. Oh, I thought they're occupied. No, there's two beds in here. Bruh. Yeah, I'm gonna not get. I'm gonna try my best to not give my child any of their own personal technology or too much screen time until they're old enough. Like, I want them to be good at computers, obviously, but you can easily just do that by hooking them up to the family laptop and making them do, like, a coding course in code.org. Because when you're young, any internet access is good internet access. You don't really care. You soak up everything. Oh well, yeah, and you don't really care, like, your restrictions, unless you know of what you could have been doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. What am I? We can just make this our oh. base operations for now. For now, we can. Yeah, I'm just gonna put the crafting table between the beds. Oops. <laughs> yeah, a kid won't complain about what type of internet access they have until they know what they could have got been gotten. This is a tiny uh lighthouse, dude. <laughs> yeah. Go in there. <laughs> Might expand it back a block to be three by three. Let's add a sign. Would. Lighthouse. I'm. Um, but if anything, they're not having a social media account until they're 16. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, I'm sorry, I had stuff way too young, I think. Luckily, it was like private and to myself. But kids on social media are ruthless. Oh, fuck. Like, God, if, they're so ruthless. If you want your child to be bullied and have self esteem issues, I. Like a horridly young age, <laughs> then let them don't, online. Don't monitor their internet access. Yeah. <laughs> but luckily, I didn't. I was always raised with like, don't talk to anyone online. Be secure. So I never actually did that. I looked at stuff I shouldn't have. I didn't talk to anyone. I shouldn't have. Yeah. Um, it's like what my parents are doing with my little brother. Oh, by the way, I have a little brother. Yeah, and that, that's new. We forgot. We're also moving to college in a few days. Yeah, we I are. To say that we have. Um, okay, for things that have happened, things that are new that have happened. Um, I have a little brother. His name we is Hayden. He is. School. We both graduated high school. My little brother's name is Hayden. He is a little a over old a year old. Christ. Yeah, he's a little over a year. <laughs> no. <laughs> Imagine how I feel. <laughs> old ass um trevor recently just turned 19 oh i am 18 are we gonna use names whatever doesn't matter you, you said we were didn't you i know i just like don't like it but you can't really get too unsafe with just using first names like we're not saying our last name and addresses no i'm not gonna say your address yeah, Trevor lives in uh, New Mexico, five four five two. You don't even know it. What even? What I don't know what it is. Albuquerque, is it? New Mexico. Albuquerque, New Mexico. What's Negro that address? Negro Arroyo Lane. Negro Arroyo Lane. I forgot the uh, actual numbers. I don't remember if that's a real place or if they like. Okay, Albuquerque, New Mexico is obviously real, but I don't know if the street and the numbers are real. If anybody that doesn't get it, we're referencing Breaking Bad. No, I'm pretty sure everyone knows. I'm pretty Breaking sure everybody Bad. does. Even but like, for the people who don't. Even people who haven't watched Breaking Bad know. Anyway, um, other is there anything else new? Oh, we went to PAX recently. That was a lot of fun. We'll talk about that later. Um, I can't think of anything. Nothing else major new that have happened. And to be fair, we're kind of boring. We are kind of boring. Let's see we're going to college soon um let's start with that we move um 
what, two and a half weeks from now or something? No, no two weeks from now, yeah. Um, I have already started packing. I've already bought things for my dorm. I've already met my quote unquote met. I talked to him on Discord. He's actually really cool. I met my roommate. Um, we are not dorming together, but we are going to the same school. Ooh, I am going for marine biology and environmentalism, and I'm pretty excited for that. Your turn. What are you going for? That was very fast info dumping. I'm just, I don't know. I'm doing all the same. I did all the same thing you did. Talked to my roommate, got stuff packed. I'm just doing computer science and music and linguistics instead. He's also going to get bricked up. That's not, <laughs> he's going to get buff. You know what that, you know what that means. Right? I know what bricked up means. Yeah, I was like, wait, that's not the right one. <laughs> He's gonna get bricked up doing weights. Ew. He's doing a. Uh, I paid it extra, weight training like hundred dollars to do a strength and resistance training class. That's what it was. I'm like honestly, it sounds like. A, what? I'm honestly excited for you for that. Yeah, it's like never. I'm bad at like memorizing stuff. I don't know, ADHD or whatever. Well, unless it's like an area I love. Hyperfixations, obviously. And bad at memorizing, like. No, I know what it is. ADHD makes you bad at memorizing physical things, like dance moves, workouts, all that. Which is why I'm really bad at tennis. <laughs> but having an instructor to always tell me what to do is gonna help. So I can remember what to do in the gym when I go by myself. And it seems expensive until I realize other colleges have the same thing for like three times the price. Our college is actually like really good. It's a really nice college. They value the uh, the actual mental health of their students more <laughs> than actually like teaching them, yeah. which also, can be bad. But I mean, I worded it wrong i worded it not the best way they i feel value like we their, can't really say anything yet because a lot of colleges have that we just have to wait and see how good the quality of this stuff is yeah we just have to wait and see but i've i've heard a lot about it i've heard a lot about them like they have like this they've had stories where the teachers come up to their students they say hey i noticed you were doing not as good as you normally do in class is there anything wrong is there anything that i can help you with and it's just, it's really nice to just know that the professors there actually care about their students rather than having like a a system where they're just weeding out the weak ones and Rate your professor says different, I'm kidding. <laughs> they, instead of having like a, a system where they just don't care at all. Yeah. I think honestly, if you give like enough info about our school, it's kind of easy to deduct which one it is, but oh well. I mean, they. I'm pretty sure we've already said the state that we live in. No, we've just said Pacific Northwest. Well, now they know we live in the Pacific Northwest. No, they already did know that we said. That I know. We live I'm in just messing Northwest. around. I don't care if they know the general area. Just huh. not. Yeah, I don't care if they know the state. Just even like the yeah. university or college is okay. Yeah. But even like, okay, the thing, okay, here's the thing about knowing what colleges, like, influencers go to. Well, we're not influencers. Go to your dorms. <laughs> In, yeah, quote unquote influencers. I'm saying this as if we're going to get popular, but I, you never know if someone, like, is going to stalk you or whatever. Um, the thing about that is, it's kind of inevitable, and usually people are fine and chill. But it is a lot easier to find you. How did you get stuck in here again? You might as well just fill it with like hay bales. Do you have enough hay for hay bales? I have zero. I have seven. Eventually. Anyways, yeah. Online privacy is... My favorite thing in the world. It's favorite so... thing in the world. I'm honestly okay with people knowing what university we're going to. Um, but then that means people know where I am. True. I did say that we are going to the same school. 
Yeah. Like, that's mostly where our friendship clashes, is extroversion versus introversion. Yeah. But also, it helps me a lot. At the same time. Is this where you slept originally? No. No, it's not. I just wanted to sleep. What are you excited for in college? Um... I have no clue. Being able to do stuff and not feel restricted by my location. How... Bro... Bro... Can you get out of here, out. please? Not you, the stupid villager. I thought you'd make fun of me for, like, being, like, agoraphobic, even though it's probably not what I am. What is agoraphobic again? It's just the fear of, like, the unknown of what could happen when you go outside. I'm gonna... I'm gonna verify that. I, that's not the exact definition, but it's basically a fear of the outside. And especially being in, like, not a rough area, but, like, not the best area. Like, my feeling is kind of like, I just really, really meh about going out. Agoraphobia is a fear of being in situations where escape might be, might be difficult or that help wouldn't be available if things go wrong. A lot of people attribute that to, like, anxious being situations. In a being in a public air, uh, situation where, like, by yourself, I guess. Yeah. But I feel like... What the hell? What? I, I placed a stair and a villager walked into it and lost the stair. <laughs> you feel like... The area is better, there's less violent crime, and all that. There's crime? The crime rate is the same. It's a high crime rate, except it's all vehicle thefts and bike thefts and homeless. Which sucks still, but... But I don't have a car to get broken into. I'm not gonna have a car to get broken into either. He already has doors broken into. I've already had my car broken into. I guess I could talk about that story. I mean, we, we still have a talk about packs. I feel like that's, like, cooler to talk about. Oh, yeah, let's talk about packs. <laughs> Well, um, what, before that, like, a note about, like, thievery. I want to bring, like, my boards, longboard, like, and whatever, but I'm worried I won't have a place to put it during class, and I want it taken. You can always hold on to it. Well, yeah, I hope... Or just, like, put it right next to you. I hope every professor I have let me keep it inside. Yeah, my mom brought up, uh, she was going to give me a... She was gonna get me a um, collapsible electric scooter, and I said no. <laughs> I feel like that's just like I don't, I don't off. need that. No, I don't need that. She said, but it can collapse into your backpack. I took one look at it, and I said, no, that's not gonna fit in my backpack at all. <laughs> that's kind of goofy. Those things are. It's. It's like the. Uh, it's like the size of the. Um, the lime scooters. That's really the Lime electric scooters, and it's, it was massive, and I was like, no, that's not going to work. <laughs> there is a, um, I know of a electric longboard that folds in half, and then you can carry it around with you. And it's a lot smaller, it's cool, and it's, I think it's cheaper as well. Mm. Yeah, electric boards are cool, but they're more likely to get stolen because of the parts inside. I kind of like catalytic converter thefts, like the highest where we're growing. Well, it's because of the platinum inside of it. Well, yeah, but the rate of, like, vehicle-related theft is really high compared to other areas. Oh god, we really... Oh god, this area... This taiga just does not end, apparently. Yeah, that's like the one of the things I dislike about Minecraft, is that... Once you're in a cold area, good luck trying to find anything else. I found a cave. No way. Cave. Yeah, we're not gonna but find new mangrove really far. Iron. No, we're not gonna find that at all. Even the, uh... The dark part. What is, where is... what is it called? Deep Lost dark. City? Deep Dark. Where the warden is? Deep Dark. It's called the Deep Dark? Are you serious? Yeah. That's gross. It's gonna that we're never gonna find that. <laughs> it's so far down. Yep. Anyway, um I would like to have an electric board. 
because my dorm is at the bottom of a hill. Yeah, it's less manpower. It would be nice, and it would mean that I can... It's at, like, the far end of the campus, and... I need to get to all of my classes from there. I have no idea how far I'm relative to my classes. In other news, though... Yesterday, we went to PAX. PAX West. Yeah. <laughs> what? what? No, it's just a funny, like, transition. We went to PAX West. It was a lot of fun. We spent a lot of money there. Like, a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. What the f- But, to no, be fair- No, how did- oh. oh, there's an azalea tree here. I don't know how, but it's oh, here. Oh, are the flowering ones? Yeah. That means there's a lush cave beneath it. Oh, that's cool. It's not really diamond specific. Anyway, oh wait. To be wait. fair, it's my birthday a bit ago, so I had birthday money to spend. I didn't even notice that the dirt underneath trees... Is it underneath every tree? Only azalea trees. No, the, the dirt underneath azalea trees has roots. It feels so modded. That's cool. It's to signify that there's something you need to dig for. Which is a luscious cave. Okay. Pax. Um, I probably spent around $250 at Pax. I probably spent around like 200 It was more, more money than we should have spent. I'm sorry, guys. I'm on birthday money, so I'm fine. I <laughs> don't have any birthday money, so I probably shouldn't have spent that much. But <laughs> I did, and I'm happy with my purchases, and I don't care. There is uh, two booths that drain me the most. What booths? But I don't care with it because I really like them. Uh, Which the booth? Mori booth and Fang. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those two would. Totally. I even managed to convince you to play Amori for a bit. I did play Amori for a bit. You it's, liked it. It's it's a good game. You said you'd play it. Yeah, I'd play it. Which is crazy. I just have to get around to doing it, but yeah, I'd play it. Um, what probably my most expensive purchase. <laughs> Um, I got some really cool D&D dice. It's a dice set of this prismatic glass that reflects light. It's actually sick. I'll try and see if I can put up a picture on it. A picture of it or even a video. Take a, a, a photo and video of it in post. I already took a pic and video of it to show other people, but... It's really cool. I I love it so much. That was probably around $120. Um, it was by a company called... Oh my god, what were they called? Level Up Dice. Level Up Dice, yeah, that's what it was. It was a company called Level Up Dice. Um, really cool company. They had a bunch of different dice there. They had like their entire catalog of dice at the booth, including these... Uh, pure tungsten dice the entire set was like 600 over 600 dollars it's funny oh, i've never seen but they were and they were so heavy it's funny though because your said dice is the price of one of the tungsten dice i know the the d20 from the tungsten dice was 160 dollars it was actually more than my entire set it was crazy they even told us about a uh they told us about a time where they had a, like a large D20 that was made out of pure tungsten. They said, what, what was it, like 1.2k worth of tungsten or something? I think so. It was a, it was big, a lot like of... Like a big one, too. It was a lot of money, and somebody bought it. <laughs> which... Like at last packs, I think, they said. Which, like, oh my god. <laughs> I really want to know what roles they're doing with that. I'll just frame it. I'll get a display case. They also had these um, 
what they called cage dice. Yeah. It was super. It was also really cool. It was. It's a uh, metal dice. Yeah, it's, you go. It's a technique where you have a square, but then you cut a little square inside of it, but at the same time making sure that the little square can't go out of the bigger square. Yeah, it was made out of purely out of metal. Um, they Definitely. had different colors, different um, different metals. They had copper and stainless steel, and also aluminum dice. Um, they rang in your hand. It was really nice sounding, and it sounded really even cooler when you uh, threw them. I'm not going to lie. I feel like they didn't roll well at all. No, I don't. They. It definitely seems like uh, because of the moving part inside of it, the weight would be completely different I mean yeah. Wait, just the weight imbalance as it was moving would when be I rolled really it, weird. it like barely rolled at all yeah it was very cool some other metals that they had that they had were was it Damascus steel which was <laughs> sick looking with all that layered uh, yeah. Damascus in it Let's see they had steel copper tungsten Damascus and aluminum. I'm pretty sure that's all the metals they had. But they also had the glass one, like the one that I bought. Uh, and they also had some resin and acrylic ones. What interested me the most, though, and I completely geeked out on, Trevor can, uh, take can advocate for this, they had this... They were making this program where you could make your own custom dice. Oh, yeah, that. Like, you could... You could include your own models inside a... These zombies are loud as hell. You can include your own models inside a, um, a clear resin dice. Or you could use one of the models that they had already like in the program. You can fully customize any type of dice. That's what they're thinking of doing. Uh, every type of dice, including some dice that haven't been made before that they have ideas for like a seven-sided die or something like that one thing about it was that it they printed it in one piece continuously instead of like printing the object that you're putting inside the dice first and then putting it inside the dice they print it with the object already inside the dice out of the same type of resin so that there's no like air pockets in it so the weight distribution of uh, dice like that would be completely the same as any other uh, good dice which automatically hooked me <laughs> because if I can have a custom dice with my own model in it and my own colors and it works just as well as any other dice I <laughs> come on that sounds awesome yeah you could even like uh, order straight from the uh, straight from the program. What they had there was just like a beta program, just kind of like showing off that this is what we can do. Um, but it looked really promising. Yeah, and I'm definitely excited for it. I even signed up for a newsletter, not a newsletter, but. It would notify me when uh, they have like an early build out, and they would give me access, early access to an early build of it, to test it out and be a tester of it. So I was like, hell yeah, I'll totally be down for that. Um, we got lots of plushies. We both got a Rosie plush, which is my son. He is currently on the ground right now. How could you be in there? I, he's currently just staring up at the. He's going through some stuff right now even be um i had got a foxy plush <laughs> from because it's what from from five nights at freddy's <laughs> it's because it's just funny and it's like the like uh the series it's okay i do like the series <laughs> uh and it's also the uh the first like official the first official um the company that made it is like the first official plushie makers. Yeah. For the series. And then I also got a... Because Funko 
I've been making the new ones and they suck. And they suck ass. They suck so much ass. And then I also got a slug cat plush from the game Rain World. Because it's a good game and it's funny. And the main character looks funny. Yeah. Um, what plushes did you get? I just got... Did you only get one? Yeah. Oh, I thought you got more. Nah, if the Mori plush was out already, I probably would have got that, though. Oh, yeah, true. But there wasn't too many plushes that interested me. I mean, they're, they're, they're cool, but... I don't what were think some... I feel like I needed them. What were some notable things at PAX? Oh, uh, cosplayers. The underwhelming Lots. Genshin booth. The very <laughs> underwhelming Genshin Impact booth. It's funny. Uh, sometimes at anime conventions, they, like, have so much stuff. They have, like, a grandiose set based on, like, Viola or something. And, like, sometimes they have merch to sell, which is ugh, rare because Genshin merch is extremely hard to find overseas. At least official Genshin merch. Yeah. Unless you buy it through, like, a third-party seller. But at PAX, like, one of the big, like, gaming conventions, um, all they had was, like, plastic character cutouts uh, a cosplayer a good cosplayer a good cosplayer of uh yoon jin yeah you know, yoon jin and like a free poster and that's all it was it's just a photo op where you can get like a poster and a note card and that's all it was they would have like they the... could have made so much money if they just if had, they made like, merch yeah yeah if they brought merch it was definitely a wasted opportunity for MiHoYo. I was kind of surprised that Bandai or Namco I guess didn't, didn't have the JoJo game on display. Because it came out Sega like Sega didn't days even before. have the. Uh, Sega didn't even have like didn't demos even have a new Sonic the, game. The new Sonic game, yeah. It's funny because like other game conventions, but more professional ones, had the demo, but not PAX West. Um, there was a lot of Genshin cosplayers, really good ones too. Yeah. I think it has something to do with um, the fact that you can, like, buy cosplay, kind of good cosplay for cheap now for a Genshin. Be. But it's still good. Uh, we got pictures with some of our favorite characters. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to show those because that's us. <laughs> Apparently, there was a really good Bayo cosplay. But was there really? Missed. How did we miss that? You even said, I'm surprised there isn't any Bayo cosplays. I know. There's a lot of cosplay we missed. A lot of people. And the stuff. A lot of people we that we missed. missed. But to be fair, it's not like mentioned in the app or schedule anywhere. No. Like, there is this. I, like, almost like no con there's communication for anything. Celebrating the new Borderlands game. Where you can get free Froyo. Really? Yeah. A free cup of Froyo for Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Interesting. And like, there is a cosplayer with like a cell shaded makeup and wig on, and it looked crazy. That's cool. But we just didn't know. Oh, I also got a picture with a furry, and that was awesome. <laughs> There's another it's one. Like we literally, missed. there was there. An, oh yeah, There's they showed two, me that one. There's two we missed. It was li that's literally the only one that I have seen in the entire state. <laughs> I've seen a few. I haven't. But that was mostly just well like, in real life. I have not. Yeah, but that was mostly just when I was like in Seattle when my sister lived there. Sometimes I'd visit her and they'd be like a furry. What, bruh? <laughs> Um, was there anything else notable at PAX? Oh, yeah, we played Elden Ring for, like, two hours. We, yeah. That didn't feel like two hours. There is a, a place where you can rent um, a controller in whatever game you want. On uh, any of the consoles that they had, which they had, like, a PS... They had PS5, PS4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, I think? Tons of... Basically, almost every single console. And there's a retro section where they had, like, from the old like Atari plug-in plays to the Wii, which is now yeah. retro. Which is now a cl classic game 
apparently. Classic game console. That makes sense. It's old. Retro is more like a time frame, even though it feels like a mentality. First, upset that we're getting old. Yeah. Um, Elden Ring is fun, but aggravating. <laughs> it's so aggravating. <laughs> Like unbelievably aggravating. <laughs> Someone is really I thought it would. I just I'm not used to any of the timings or controls. God, I we didn't. I tried parrying. I didn't. Couldn't even do it once. It was so hard to do. I didn't land a single one. Um. There was also a. There was a um a PC free play area. It's massive. Where you could play. Anything you want, and you could play on a LAN party with other people. We didn't do that because we have PCs. It was there's a, a section for people who brought their own and people who didn't. Yeah, there was a um, what's it called? It was a uh, tournament, I think. Was it a tournament? That's what it's called. But um, there's also a merchants area where I think like artists and small businesses to. Have booths. Up. Oh yeah, the and it was in the area. area. We have been to PAX for a few times in the past, and we've never found the building where the con like the console free play was. And apparently, that's where that is. We just discovered it this year. And it's really it was, sad. It was so upsetting. It's sad because it might be like the yeah, last year we go together, and I would love to see. I don't like, think it's artists. I don't think it's gonna be the last year. Well, yeah, but. I'm also just upset that we haven't figured it out in the past. We've been there like so many times. I'm sorry if you hear people yelling outside. You can just cut that out. <gasps> Spruce boat with chest. Did you find Dude. that? Dude. Where'd you make that? I made it. Uh. Oh, you can just press E and then it opens the chest. Oh, that's it's cool. awesome. I'm all surprised Microsoft didn't have a booth there for like anything Minecraft or Game Pass related. Is that a... Oh my god, that is. Wait. <laughs> that's just a... Sunken pirate ship. Oh, I have diamonds. Oh yeah, they're really copper now. I now have emeralds too. I'm making a little mine. Need to find that other. Oh god! Oh god! What's happening? I need to find the other. Um... Oh, it's night, but you're not here to sleep. I need to find the other sh uh, chest. There isn't always another chest. Is there not always? This mm -hmm. one's in a diag. This one's a diagonal one. I thought all ships always had a. Uh... No. That's why those feet berries are gone. You fucked what? them all. I did? Just stack it in the chest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did. Anyway, PAX was a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm glad that we got to go. I'm glad it was at a place that was pretty near to us. I'm glad they didn't sell the tickets because we kind of got them late. We did kind of get them late, but they did still have tickets. We also got there two hours early. <laughs> you thought there'd be like a massive line for people doing vaccine checks and card pickup. But there was not. It probably was later, but. Oh my! At least we got Hello. to go in, like right when the doors oh opened. We didn't see open the doors. Oh my god, these underwater cave generations are so cool looking. I'm currently just exploring the ocean a little bit. By the way, it's been an hour. I know it's been an hour. Even though we're planning to do short term content, or shorter content, because we feel like we'd get bored of each other too fast. Well, it probably but is going to be a catch -up, shorter. But I guess a catch up video should be longer. Yeah. Um. 
Unless you want to end it, or if there's anything else you want to talk about. I mean, I feel like this is a decent place to end. We don't have to like I stop talking, place to but we can stop recording. Yeah. Because I feel like not like all the topics have been uh, discussed. No, yeah, not everything has been talked about, but but I feel like conversations kind of slowing down now. Where it's not going to be entertaining without us spending too much time editing everything to be together. Yeah, I agree. <sighs> Sorry, I'm mining coal right now and I thought I heard a slime. That's fine. Too many zombies around. Alright, uh, give me a second. Do you, have, do you have an outro? No, not really. Plays that one song. Da, 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 ba, da, 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 da. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. As always, guys, see you next time. <laughs> Shut up, no. I think it would be hilarious if you actually got to that point where you made Let's Plays and had, like, a funny outro. That would be funny, but this is not the time. <laughs> I feel like Let's All Plays right. are inevitable, but that's just, like, for doing stuff like entering the nether. And doing like bosses when short term podcast type content would not f be a possible. Anyways, I'm gonna end it here. We are gonna end it here. We are gonna end it here. Um, let us know if you like this. Who's watching it? I don't fucking know. Are we gonna send it to anyone or just gonna let it be in the Aether? We're we're gonna put it on our channel. Well, yeah. Some people we know are subscribed, but I kind of like the idea of just not keeping it private, but just letting people I like discover it. Letting people discover it, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna end my recording. Alright, see you guys.